the crunchy bird. <laughs> One day, a lady went into a pet shop in Johannesburg to buy some dog meat, or biltong as they called it in South Africa. As she was about to leave the shop, she noticed in the corner a large cage, inside which was an enormous bird about three times as big as a vulture and four times as ugly. So she said to the shopkeeper, Achman, what's that? He said, Madam, that is a crunchy bird. She says, crunchy bird? I've never heard of a crunchy bird. Why do they call it a crunchy bird? He said, Madam, allow me to demonstrate. And he opened the cage, out popped the crunchy bird, and he said, crunchy bird, table. And the crunchy bird hopped over the table and went, <laughs> reduced it to matchsticks within seconds. She said, crunchy, that's most impressive. I'm going to buy that. He says, no, it's not for sale. She said, I will give you 500 rand for it. He said, it is not for sale, madam. She said, OK, I'll give you a thousand rand. I'll make you an offer you can't resist. Two thousand rand. He said, OK, madam, two thousand rand, it's yours. But I'm telling you, you're wasting your money. So she said, well, 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 why am I wasting my money? He said, because, madam, it only responds to the male voice. Whatever you tell it to do, it will not react. So she says, OK, I don't care, I shall buy it. He says, OK, shall I wrap it? She said, yes, I think you'd better. So he wraps it for her. And he <laughs> says, well, just a moment, madam. I, I, I know it's none of my business, but why are you buying a crunchy bird that will not respond to a female voice? She says, I'll tell you exactly why. My husband will come back tomorrow night, fresh from seeing his mistress, no doubt, and he will come into the house. I will open the crunchy bird's cage door and he will say, what the hell is that? And I shall say, darling, it's a crunchy bird. And he'll say, crunchy bird, my ass.